In this video I'm going to work through a quick example of inserting into a skip list. So for the purposes of this example we'll assume that I'm going to insert uh, the element 9 into this existing skip list. The first step is to determine the, the level at which this 9 will be inserted and we'll handle that by flipping coins. So uh, if we flip zero heads in a row, then the element that we're inserting this 9 will only end up at the very bottom level of the skip list. If I flip, flip one head and then I get a tail, then the uh, element that I'm inserting in, inserted will end up at the bottom list and will end up also at the list, at the level one above that. So however many heads in a row I get, that's going to determine uh, the levels where that 9 is inserted. So let's assume that in this case I get kind of lucky and I flip um, three heads in a row, which means that my 9 should be present at, at h3, 2, 1, and 0. So a suggestion for the implementation uh, for this project is that we keep this uh, stack of sentinel nodes always one larger uh, than the, the sort of tallest insertion that we've, we've seen so far. So in this case, our stack of sentinels is not quite high enough, right? We want 9 to be inserted at this level, but we always want the stack of sentinels to be one greater than that. So the first step in this case is to increase uh, the height of our, of our sentinel. Um, and we can do that by creating a new node. It will just contain none, like the other sentinels. Its below reference will have to be updated to refer to the previous head. Um, we won't have to do anything with its next reference, that will just be none. And then finally we'll modify our head reference so that it refers to the newly created node. So at this point we're ready to insert the 9. We've got a tall enough stack of sentinels to, to contain it. So throughout this demonstration what I'll do is I'll, I'll use my thumb to represent our current external reference to a node in the, in the skip list. Uh, in the pseudocode that we've provided that's, that's cur, right? So my thumb represents cur. And I'll use my finger to represent cur.next, right? The, the next reference that's contained in, in the current node. So the process begins by uh, starting at head and then skipping forward until I find the appropriate location for 9 at this level in the skip list. And in this case, I know I'm not going to be able to skip forward. I'll look at next. I'll see none. Uh, there's no opportunity to skip here. And I also know that I actually shouldn't modify the uh, list at this level, right? I've determined that my insertion height should be 3, but I'm currently at height 4, so nothing should change at this level. So instead what I'll do is I will move my current reference to the below of my current reference, and that moves me to this situation. So I repeat the process here, and I'll keep repeating the exact same process at every level. So I look at my uh, next, and I determine that I can't actually skip forward at this point, which means that I've found the correct location for an insertion at this level. So I need to check if I should insert at this level. Uh, my insertion height is 3, and I'm at height 3, so I should. I do need to create a new node at this level. So I'll create a node to contain the 9 at this level. I'll draw it here. The first step is to set the newly created node's next reference to be whatever the next reference of current was. In this case, that's just a none, so this will be none. The next step is to change my current node's next reference to be a, a reference to the node that I just inserted. So that will be this. Um, at this point, I would like to be able to set the below reference as well, but I can't actually do that yet because I haven't created the node that's going to exist below it. So what I'm going to need to do is maintain another external reference to this node. I'm always going to need to maintain a reference to the node uh, that was added most recently so that when I create another node at the next level down, I can reach back up and modify this below reference uh, appropriately. So I've done everything that I can do at this point, at this level. So um, I will now move my current reference down. And again, I'll check to see if I can skip forward. Uh, I can't skip forward because 9 is less than 12, so 9 can't be after 12 in, this, in the list at this level. So again, I've found the appropriate location for an insertion at this level. So I create my new node. Um, and at this point, I can reach back up to the previously created node, and I can change its below reference to refer to the node that I've created. 
Um, I also need to change the next, next reference of my newly created node to be current's next reference. And then finally, I need to change current's node to refer to the newly created node. And now this node is correctly inserted at this level. So once again, I need to step down. Uh, and something slightly different happens at this, at this level, right? Uh, I look at this next reference and I see, uh, sure enough, 9 is greater than 5, so 9 belongs after this point in the skip list, so I need to skip forward. Uh, 9 does not belong after the 12, so I shouldn't skip forward here, which means I've found the correct location. I create the node, change its next reference, need to make sure that the previously added node has the correct below reference, change the next reference of current, and now I've correctly inserted 9 at this level. So at this point, you might be tempted to start again at the beginning, um, but that would be a bad idea. That would give us order and insertions. So there's no need to do that. I'm going to step down from my current node uh, where I previously inserted, and I'll repeat the process from this point. So next is 8, which means I, sh I should skip forward. Next is 12, which means I should not. Now it's time to perform my insertion. Process is the same. Um, at this point, it would be time to step down to the next level, but of course there is no next level, so I've completed the insertion of my 9 into the skip list. So this is what the results should look like. It's a little cramped, but that's the idea. Let's do one more insertion just to uh, get the idea and to see an example where we don't modify the height of the sentinels initially. So let's say at this point we're going to insert uh, 16. And we'll assume that we flip zero heads, so the only place that 16 should appear is at the very lowest level in the skip list. Uh, the process is the same. I start at my uh, sentinel node. I didn't have to make any modifications to my sentinels. I check to see if I can skip forward. I can't. Um, and I know that I shouldn't insert at this level because my insertion level now is zero. So I move down. Uh, I can't skip forward, so I move down. I can skip forward here, right? 16 is after 12. It belongs after this next reference in the uh, skip list, so I move forward, but I can't skip forward again, so I move down. And I'm not inserting at these levels because I haven't reached a point where it's appropriate to insert. I'm only inserting at height 0. I move down. I can't skip forward. I move down. I can skip forward at this point because 16 is larger than 15. Uh, I can't skip forward. I, so I found the appropriate point of insertion at this level, uh, and this is the level where I should be inserting. So I create my new node to contain a 16, change its next reference to be the old next reference of my current node, and change my current node's next reference to be six, that 16. And that completes the insertion. Uh, I'm not going to work through the um, algorithms for removing a node or the algorithm for finding an existing node in the skip list. Uh, insertion is really the most complicated um, operation, so if you get insertion down, I think you'll find that the other two should follow pretty easily.